ready for takeoff. I'm Lauren Thomas, and seeking input on the airport district is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. Our planning team wants to know what residents like about the area surrounding the Greenville Downtown Airport and what would make it first class. The study area includes the Greenville Convention Center, Runway Park, restaurants, and the soon-to-open Swamp Rabbit Trail Extension. We introduce you to two fearless female founders on Startup Greenville. Mary Grace Carey is an attorney who said I do to opening Bloom Bridal, and Jeanette Brewster, Program Director of Village Launch, a support organization that equips under-resourced entrepreneurs. Baby on board, Autumn the Giraffe at the Greenville Zoo is expected to deliver another calf in the coming weeks. This is her seventh calf delivered as part of the Species Survival Program. Can you believe it? Public Works crews picked up 12 and a half million pounds of leaves this season. That's the equivalent weight of more than 1,266 elephants. The city's community development team shared plans to apply for $1 million in American Rescue Plan grant funds for affordable housing projects. We're speed walking our way to another big win. USA Today 10 Best named the Prisma Health Swamp Rabbit Trail number eight on its 2023 Best Residential Trail list. The magazine loves the parks, picnic shelters, shops, and restaurants that run along the Reedy River. We may have won the silver medal, but Falls Park on the Reedy will always be gold to us. Thanks to all who voted, we're proud to be the first runner up in USA Today's 10 Best Urban Parks. The youth basketball season wraps up this weekend with championship games. Good luck, players. We're prepping for the return of weekly live music. Piedmont Natural Gas Downtown Alive begins Thursday, March 16th and features 25 new bands. Greenville Heritage Main Street Fridays begins on St. Patrick's Day. Genres will include classic rock, jazz, beach, Latin, blues, disco, and more. Tree crews hung banners and prune trees near the Bon Secours Wellness Arena to prepare for ESPN Game Day and the SEC Women's Basketball Tournament next week. We know Greenville will score big in the national spotlight. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.